Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is the Mima Islam at the top news of the day. The government has chosen a vaccine as the best tool to control the corona situation. Therefore, a special plan has been taken to bring the maximum number of people under vaccination at the earliest, which will start from 7th August. The Director General of Health told News24 that they are working with the goal of vaccinating one crore people a month. And public health experts say it is possible to implement this plan in the current infrastructure. Meanwhile, the Department of Health has recommended extending the lockdown after, 8th, after 5th August to prevent further spread of the virus. Today is the eighth day of a two-week strict lockdown to prevent corona infection. At first, the law enforcement agencies were very active in implementing the lockdown, but over time it has slowed down. Check posts are decreasing in number and so is the strictness, and ordinary people are taking advantage of it. The number of people taking to the streets on various pretexts is increasing day by day. Traffic congestion is increasing on the roads of the capital. At the same time, working people are being forced to look for work as they cannot bear the long-term lockdown. There is a difference among people about hygiene. An extension of the ongoing lockdown to prevent spread of corona infection has been indicated by the Director General of the Department of Health, ABM Kurshed Alom. He told News24 that the Department of Health has offered to continue the ongoing lockdown to prevent corona infection. In different districts of the country, the rate of corona infection and death has decreased by a bit. In 24 hours, 108 people lost their lives in different districts of the country due to corona symptoms. At Rajshahi Medical Corona Ward, 13 people died due to corona and symptoms. Six people have died at the three dedicated hospitals in Kulna. 18 people lost their lives in Moiman Singh Medical's corona unit. Besides, six people died in Kushtia, 14 in Foritpur, 9 in Chitang, 4 in Shatkira, 2 in Chwadanga, 2 in Chatpur, 17 in Bogura, and 12 in Borishal. Even if the death rate has decreased, patient pressure has not reduced in hospitals. Due to this, there is a crisis of beds and ICU in some hospitals, and the doctors are struggling to ensure the medical services of the additional patients. The RAB has said that a case is being prepared against the expelled Awami League leader Helena Jahangir. It was informed at a press conference at the headquarters at noon that various issues including money laundering and information technology laws have been taken into consideration. Two Bangladeshi swimmers, Ariful Islam and Junaina Ahmed, will compete in the Tokyo Olympics today. Ariful Islam entered the pool to take part in the men's 50-meter freestyle heat. England expatriate Junaina will compete in the women's 50-meter freestyle. Arif will be up against seven more swimmers in the heat number four. Exactly 20 minutes later, London expatriate swimmer Junaina Ahmed will enter the water in the same event. Men's 50-meter freestyle will be 10 heats and women's 50-meter freestyle will be 11 heats. That's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.